Welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time we completed the sub-stories in Chapter 5, other than one that requires rank 50 in management, as well as, I think, completing 10 courses at, um, Onabara. Uh, this time, and now that we have some amount of money... Um, I want to go to Hamakita Park and continue Dragon Card. Again, I don't really know what the rewards are other than if there's anything other than what you get in the shop. But, you know. Oh, I should plant those seeds I got for, um... I think it was Daikon and Potato. for that uh, part-time hero quest. Not the sub story. We already saw this. It's the rival race here. We'd like a rematch with you. A rematch, huh? Yeah, Matsuka chan and I had to take a long, hard look at ourselves after you beat us in the Pegasus Cup. Up until this point in our career, we could barely see past our own egos. We thought we had it all together. We acted all high and mighty because we thought we had the skills to back it up. And we got swept, got the rug swept out from under us. So, we decided to start over from scratch. Now we're back and stronger than ever. We wanted you to be our first opponent. The first to challenge the Rocket Girls Reborn. Is that a no? <laughs> <laughs> if you're fi that fired up, of course I'll take you on. That's what I like to hear. Are you ready to race right now? Sorry. Sorry, but could you hold on for a sec? I got this errand to run. Aw, I keep hate being kept in suspense. But I guess that's fine. Hope you can take care of it quick. Don't worry, we'll be back soon. Alright. Wanna go for a drive? Let's see, what's available for me? I have less than a thousand freaking rings. Ugh. Got all the CDs here. Um, pretty microphone, wooden flipper. The Damascus ladle is the big prize here. Um, obviously a high tier weapon for the chef class. Um, those are actually really good boosters though. For, well, maybe not cheap, but. Let's upgrade our cart, since we have money. We can buy the Rumble Crasher, which is expensive, but let's go to the Crimson Fire. Up of Acceleration, Cart Durability, Ring Gain. Um, durability isn't actually a big problem, it's top speed, so let's invest there. Cap that out, I guess. And then... That upgrades oil bottle usage... Uh, I don't really care about that. Uh, let's upgrade the ring bonus. Carter ability because I have the money. Okay, let's try Phoenix Cup one more time with these upgrades in my. Oh, it's 5,000. Okay, let's do the rival race first then. Oops. That was. Let's hit the track already, Ichiban. Okay. Alright, let's go. Show me what the new and improved Rocket Girls can do. 
That's what I'm talking about. Don't go disappointing us, okay, Ichiban? And because it's technically more of a time trial, we're able to do it for free. A for drifting. We're on an early lap. So go for the ring bonus. Really taking a lot of damage. Oh wow. Like every shot they're connected more or less. Okay, so this is actually a pretty easy one. rings go, so having an extra missile is what I want. I mean, I will take the extra 10 free rings, though, especially since those are currency. So this one it seems mostly to be about just making sure you dodge barrels, or at least blow them up. Finding the RPG too useful. I misremembered the track there. <laughs> yeah, Gatling seems to be the way to go here. Do prevent the AI from taking them. If you grab them even with a full inventory. Once again, I'll gladly take the free money. It's like four grand for the Damascus ladle. I don't feel like I break the game by getting the high end minigame weapons early because they are only sp for specific classes. Way. I can't believe we lost to you again. We're supposed to be the Rocket Girls Reborn. Hey, don't feel too bad. Definitely got way faster. I can tell whatever practice you did paid <laughs> off. Today was just my day, I guess. You really got us again, Ichiban. As frustrated as I am, I'm also pretty revved up. Yeah. Same. I like how you put that. Well, we're not going to sit on this loss forever. We'll beat you next time. But for now, I bid you adieu. We've got some training ahead of us. Let's go, Matsuko. Adios. Okay, see you around. <laughs> That's right, everyone. Keep pushing each other's limits. For soon the time will come. <laughs> All 
Rapid Phantom Heart is now available for a ridiculous sum of money. Ridiculous for this point of the game. Um, speaking of ridiculous, let's go get that friggin' money for that fee. Actually, I think we might be able to take on a single enemy here. Turncoat Titillator. Oh, there's three of them. Well, whatever. Only level 21. Yeah, they are not a problem. Ah, easy bond check we can get enough free crit. Right. Let's finish this guy off anyway. <laughs> nice. Joyful jig. No. Seems to set to the status ailments now. Whatever. I'm not close up. yen. Actually, I can handle it by just fighting in this area. I don't need to worry. Hey, they're ready to harvest. Two daikon? Uh, let's plant tomatoes, I guess. Biker Vanguard and Eloquent Yakuza and Biker Cavalier. Like, the real nice thing about Mega Swing is it does... It has a very high chance of knocking down. Oh, they still hit like trucks. Take this guy down. One less source of damage. Right. And then. I read Jed. <laughs> Taunt strike. Alright, Hero's Vigor on Madachi. To remain unfazed. a chance this guy misses. Wow. That was a prescient observation. But he didn't continue to miss. Dang. Alright, alright. 
heal and grab money here. Probably sell some old crappy gear while I'm at... Uh, uh. Yeah, I probably should. I don't need to do that. Let's go to Ben 10 then. Or Ben 10. Oh, it is Ben 10. Nice quick way over there. these helmets, baseball caps, half, oh, I'm actually using the half helmets, that's, okay, sell the regular straw hat, stretch shirt, so the work clothes, work overalls, regular jackets, Embroidered jacket. Thick parka. Oh, even in the dead of winter, the specially designed parka will keep you warm and cozy. Oh, that should go to... I guess I can go to Sayako. Binding. Iron pipe. Metal bat. Rough lumber. Bamboo broom. Metal broom. Long shoehorn and traffic. Wand. The elegant pouch is worth a million yet if you want to grind that uh, mini game. <laughs> um, what else is there? I want to sell any materials really. Sell the bronze plate, paper plates, you know, things that you can pawn off. That did not net me as much extra money as I thought. Like, I probably will get more, like, money per minute. By beating the crap out of these guys. Oh, oh. Bad example. Oh, I should... Take a picture of the Kappa statue for the uh, part-time hero quest. Or is that not? Oh, do I talk to the person next to it? Hey, have you heard of the Kappas? Oh, okay. Who doesn't love Kappas, right?
Oh, I never got that Suji Dex entry. So that's good. How do I... Maybe it's in here? Let's just get money out in general. Because <laughs> I think I stowed a good chunk of it away. Oh, I stored... I got all my money back out. Okay. I'm broke. So, we only have one entry into each cup, basically. Oh, I was gonna see if there was- well, no, of course there's not gonna be an update on that sub-story until I actually progress it at night. I like how there's been precisely one race in this Dragon Cart video. Normally, I would have just grinded out the business. But I figure, you know, it's a different type of game. I'll give it a chance before I completely destroy Yakuza 8. <laughs> Potato. Complete that quest now. Okay. Once more with feeling. We're gonna redo the Phoenix Cup, but win this time. shield up, because I don't remember where the AI likes to attack in here. There's like a particular guitar sound, like not a, you know, like the Mega Man X, but like just an actual, presumably, guitar that's really common in like 
The soundtracks for like both the games and anime. Japanese games specifically, of course. Yeah, that is the only classification it makes sense I would be talking about here. These upgrades made a real difference. Like even uh, the Crush 40 songs for uh, the Sonic Adventure games have the exact same guitar. I'm lapping these poor people. <laughs> we might as well, right? How <laughs> are you so slow? Ugh. Be cool if, like, someone else took second next round, so that it literally didn't matter if I got first, second, or third. Let's do this. Ha ha. I think it's slightly faster at the start, but slightly slower in the middle and end to take the air jets. Because I don't think that um, your acceleration counts. Or the ring acceleration counts. I think it's a flat speed. While you're in the air. That was still probably faster. It's also weird because, like, items take time to use. Which is. Jeez. Not the case in most, like, kart racing games. Static item placement is interesting. It makes sense for, you know, the single player campaign, but it would lead to matches being very samey even in, like, excuse me, multiplayer. Dang it. It is funny that nine times out of ten, the minigame tournament arc characters are exactly the same people. Not like the same character, but like written one to one the same. <laughs> Incidentally, this guy represents my least favorite of the tournament arc characters, which is, according to my calculations, you have 0% chance of winning. 
Like, dude, we get you took a you're a stats major. Nobody likes that. Screwed that up a bit, but... I can get second in this race. Despite there being, like, significantly more movement in crap, this video has had zero instances of, um, frame dropping. Alright, lightning is the blue shell, I think, so it's a backup strategy. My man is four seconds behind. I'm just gonna keep grabbing rings because I need them. <laughs> wanted to take him out before what happened. Oh well. Yep. Grand Prix winner. Four hundred and seventy four rings added to the total. Phoenix Cup champion. Kaskasan, how goes Dragon Cart? Alright, show me some speed. Okay, so now Dragon Cup, I need to win in the rival race against the Drift Musketeers. So 
that should activate like as I walk away, right? That was some Or not? Huh. Oh, there we go. Feeling someone's watching me. Uh, interesting. Whenever he starts walking, it's always with his right foot. <gasps> Whoa! Hey, what's the big idea? Oh, it's just Subaru. What are you doing just now? Gathering data on you. What else? The only reason I lost you in the Phoenix Cup is because I didn't do enough research. Now, if you don't mind, please carry on with your business. No. Hell yeah, I mind. I'm acting like some kind of stalker. Hmm, you put it that way. I suppose I should withdraw. You've already been given me what I needed. Hmm. I don't remember giving you a damn thing. Now, without further ado, allow me to challenge you once more. Wanna go at it again? Eh. Knowing that I'll win, of course I do. Based on my calculations, defeating you should be a simple task. Unless, of course, you'd rather decline? <laughs> I won't back down. But let me tell you this. Racing's more than just putting shit together in your head. I'll have to teach you one more time. <laughs> Why, thank you. I look forward to the lesson. Or should I say, making an example out of you. Now, are you ready to start the race? Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Very good. Now, well, in despair, as each of my pred predictions comes true. As before, foggy version of a track you've already done. With only him as an opponent, and he's slightly better. Again. Damn it. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I think it's usually the first. Okay, still take damage. I really don't know what determines when he throws behind or in front with the oil. And leaping does seem to actually lower the damage taken, but to know. Were my calculations wrong? Six second difference. Jeez. Worry about steering for a moment there. Oh, there's lightning there. Huh. almost like a good idea to fall behind him and just hit him to take him out of commission, but that's a lot of strategy in a watered-down kart racing minigame. Oh, yeah. Especially when he keeps taking damage and getting knocked out by his own actions.
That was actually close, though. An extra 300 rings. No, this can't be. Nothing about this race was reflected in my data. <laughs> Didn't I just tell you? Rolling things over in your head isn't the same as having good reflexes or knowing what to do on the spot. It's like how the forecast can say there's a thunderstorm if the whole day goes by without a drop of rain. You can't always rely on predictions. Oh! Shut up. I don't need you of all people to lecture me. <laughs> well, goddamn. We got ourselves a straight-up demon on the track. Nicely done, Ichiban. Mm -hmm. Kira, don't be like this, dorky son of a bitch. Every time you talk about predicting shit, I want to slap you in the face. What kind of drift musketeer are you? Eh? Excuse me, how dare you insult my methods? A simpleton like you, you couldn't predict your way out of a paper bag. Oh yeah? Well, even with all that nerd talk, you still lost. Speaking of being a loser, I know for a fact you've never even kissed a girl, let alone had one in bed. Screw you. Tell me, is being an old man with blue balls also part of your data, or are you happy making love to your hand because it's one of your predictions? I predict my foot up your ass, you angry you did little punk. <sighs> You're really aiming low the belt here. Up. Come on, you two, there's no need to go at each other's throats. Listen, Subaru san, I don't want to say this too loudly, but I too suffered many long days and hard nights without a lot. <laughs> You're really focusing on this thing, Fujisawa. <laughs> I remember thinking I'd die a virgin. Well, look at me now. I've got a loving wife, a beautiful son, and a job I adore. I'm sure all that and more is coming your way. Just be patient and never give up the fight. Fujisawa said. Thank you. That was the most inspiring prediction I've ever heard. Man, he's really good at being a mediator. It's Subaru-san. It's like his heart was really touched. And Akira-san, don't go bad-mouthing another man's love life. No one wants to hear you say those things. Besides, where's the, the dragon cart spirit in all this? <sighs> I know. You're right. I went overboard. And now Akira's all calm like a lion that's just been tamed. How does Fujisawa-san do it? Actually, I wasn't here to argue in the first place. I came here to see you. Yeah? <laughs> I'm like Subaru here. I don't give a steam crap about data. I just cut loose and go wild, letting my instincts take the wheel. I hope you'll make the next tournament fun. Kira does remain unchallenged in the Sky Highway course. Nobody's been able to take wow. him down. Huh, no kidding. <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe our rising star will give him a run for his money. Give it your best, Kasuga, son. You bet I will. Ignition Shadow Cart is now available for a ridiculous sum of money for this point of the game. course, another sub-story is over here. Oh, so you didn't turn tail and run? Yeah. Of course not. I had to come make sure you weren't all talk. <laughs> Go ahead, keep inflating that ego. After I leave you crying at the finish line, your self-esteem will shrivel up like a raisin. Maybe your ball sack, too. It's never too late to turn back, you know. Still want to risk getting crushed? <laughs> you think I came here to lose? Try some humility, man. What's that? You want me to humiliate you? Oh, I plan on it. That was a lame slash good comeback to that. warm in here. I don't live somewhere where there's a heat wave, I just live in California. <laughs> Let's do this!
I guess this is because there's not another cup between these two races. I don't know why I did that. I'm not going to take him out with a single RPG. Taking a little damage is no big deal here. I like that boost, thank you. rings. trick is learning when to start drifting. Why am I keeping that? That's not even a useful item for me. Crap. Missed that dash. Hopefully he didn't grab it. I don't know why I'm calling boosts and dashes now. So it doesn't seem to actually affect your overall speed if you take the big jump. Hmm. That sucked. That very sucked. I've lost. I don't think he's going to take any more Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> he won. Oh, thank you, AI. Another 300 rings. somehow. It was like that battle shaved a few years off my lifespan. This is bullshit. How come I lost? I thought I demoralized this guy. <laughs> you were a big fish in a small pond, Akira. Oh, but something bigger swam along. You got eaten up immediately. Hmm? Huh? Jinsan. Oh. This is the first time we talk, rookie. I'll congratulate you this time. But don't think that I'm anything close to these other weaklings. The races you've been until now have merely been child's play. Yeah. What makes you say that? My resolve. Unlike these hobbyists, I ride in the name of my family, putting everything on the line. <laughs> Come back when you're ready to risk your life. Only then will I take you on. That's Jin, the Yakuza racer. 
Let's call on the outside, but I can feel this fiery spirit leaping out at me. The guy's definitely on another level. That means I gotta dig deep, train hard, and get my machine in tip-top shape if I want to stand a chance against him. I'm gonna end off here because I'm slightly melting. Next time we're gonna finish off a uh, dragon cart, though. See you guys then.